Okay, so last week was the premiere, and I think that it was a pretty good premiere. We started off here with the end of what we ended with last week. Mm -hmm. So it was a to be continued, you know, Candy and um, um, Courtney. Court, uh, I was about to say um, Kamala. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she do? Oh, bitch. Girl. She, she, do. she do. She, you know what, Courtney, I love Courtney already from the jump. But you know what, Courtney is giving Gazelle. She give it. <laughs> She giving Gazelle. You know Gazelle that be running from the um you know somebody that be running from yeah, lions and shit the lions. in the jungle. We watch a lot of our planet safari. David Attenborough. Right, right. We watch right. a lot of David Attenborough. I've gotten him into a lot of documentaries with animals yes. and stuff because yes. I learn a lot of She stuff has. Stuff like I that. yes. I love documentaries. That's all I wanna watch, right? Right. And she obviously want to watch Girlfriend. I don't wanna see girlfriends. I don't want to see sister, sister. Be excited. I do watch it. Anyway, come on, y'all. Let, let, let's get started. Scene one. We at um the Great Gatsby party. I guess that's what you call it, the Great Gatsby party. She's still trying her. What I have is that the scene continues with Candy and Courtney arguing. Um, then Sanya, to me, is like a high school kid. I mean, like, she is... Um, she set the ladies back, I feel like, a lot. Because she... Um, when when the original ladies were here, I feel like their drama was past this type of drama. The drama that Sanya is stirring up and that Sanya is keeping tail. up instead of knocking out the ballpark is drama that these ladies have graduated from. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is drama that they've graduated from. We were on real business drama. You know what I'm saying? We, were, we had moved on to, I mean, Kenya and Phaedra fighting about contracts and shit and you fucking my man and shit. She set us back with some petty, petty, petty drama. Like, what is Courtney talking about? What set me off is you saying you don't know me or whatever the fuck she said. Like, bitch, are you kidding me? If you don't get the fuck out of here with that candy, it's candy got like so much Marlo on plate. Said, this these, is so simple and small. Right. Her. Like Marlo said in her confessional, these bitches just run around arguing like J-Lo and Mariah. I don't know her. These bitches out here feuding like J-Lo and Mariah. I don't know her. Who is she? What's her name? My earring, my earring don't know me, bitch. <laughs> right. Girl, we do not care. Yeah, this was some, this is some I'm real sorry. petty drama. That, Hollywood um, drama, girl. I gotta say, Courtney is petty for this, but I gotta say that Sanya is petty as well for this. <laughs> Sanya would need to be in the younger group of Real Housewives of Atlanta if they were to do uh, two, you know what I'm saying? Like, like New York. The double, yeah, they're trying the to legacy do double, and then the, and then the younger newer. group. If they did that to Atlanta, I think they want to see if New York is going to work out doing that and maybe the ratings will come up. If they do well, I think they'll try it in Atlanta and other cities. If they did that in Atlanta, I think Portia would need to be on the younger one. The nieces, um, Portia, Sanya. Sanya would fit well there because of the type of drama she keep up. That's the type of drama for Shamia and Portia and, um, you know, those type of ladies, I feel like. That's like a younger crew. Boy, well, don't put Portia over there with Sanya. You could put Portia with Candy and them with the aunties. Marlo, Portia, Kenya, Candy. Bitch. You don't think so? Don't do not do that. Not Marlo, aunties. Portia, Kenya, Candy, Lisa Wu, and um, maybe somebody else. I don't know. Some other bitch. Drew. No, Drew need to be with the, with the nieces. Drew and Sanya need to be with the nieces. Drew, Sanya, um, Fallon, Pina, Pina. Girl, I don't know what her last name is. I'm going to get married to Jalen. Yeah, but they just got divorced. They just filed for divorce. They just act. <laughs> Everybody filing for divorce. Them two just filed for divorce after couple's retreat went off. Um, Kim Zosiak, right, and her husband filed for divorce, uh -huh. right? Uh, Eva. Drew, Drew Sador. Oh, my God. Drew Sador and her husband and Eva Marcel. Damn. Everybody filing for divorce. And King yeah. is still going through hers. And Todd is next. I think so. I'm telling you. If Candy don't get her shit together. But we're going to talk about that a little later. I don't want to hit him. <laughs> Sanya would need uh, to be in the younger group of ladies though if they did do two housewives I feel like um, Marlo says that therapy works seek it but I feel like when you're not in shit cause shit don't evolve you <laughs> my shit's about evolve then of course you can't be the center of the uh, so I'm confused how is she gonna credit therapy for not being in any drama when this don't have shit to do with you I'm confused so duh you're not in any drama now but let's see episode 5 nothing concerns you sweetheart let's see what happened in episode 5 episode 5 we'll see how much of the drama she in then <laughs> right that's what uh -huh. I said it ain't got, we ain't got that yet right that's um, it it'll be some shit soon Martel to me is very camera thirsty He's giving, he's very camera you thirsty. Think? Or he's drunk. Either he's camera thirsty or Both. he's drunk. Because he's standing over here like he's on red. He's from the backwoods of Alabama, bitch. Now, don't tell me they don't drink moonshine. Yeah, I'm sure they drink moonshine. I'm pretty sure they do. 
Um, but I think that that for the most part, um, he told the truth after he realized what you know that he did message her. He did you know finally break out and say you know I I did message you. Oh shit, my bad. Um, he and did. I just rolled my eyes as hard he as Kenya did. In the he scene didn't shy away from it. He, he knew what it got damn well. He messaged her. Though. But he just but, didn't think that it was gonna come down to no. Let's baby, see. No, I don't think so because I think that you, you clarified for me. She said six months ago. I didn't know she that. She did. I didn't know that. I was all on her side right Kenya. there. But of course he would forget if he messaged her. You said 2020? 2020. And it's, it was 2022 when this was filmed. So that's that. Two, baby. Come on now. Two years ago two with a big years. ass head like his head. With that big ass noggin, look like Melody done knocked him upside his shit a few times. With that big ass head like he got. Now let somebody tell me. Somebody, <laughs> please. Where the analogy. Oh, he ain't got no big head? No, he do. I ain't say he did. You say I got saying. a big head? <laughs> uh, but I say at least he told the truth. He told the truth eventually. He told the truth eventually, but where he was fucked up at is before he walked away, he did some bitch ass Alabama boy shit. Okay, he did some bitch ass Bama boy shit by saying. Check her message. She probably she probably uh message everybody. She he was he had to be drunk. He was being real aggressive and she probably and responded to everybody. He was drunk, baby. You can't tell me he wasn't drunk. Sanya bartenders was spiking everybody drinking that bitch. She said, You with the housewife? Oh, here, Martel. <laughs> Martel, I got good drink for you, baby. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. Let me say that. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Have me. Have me. Because uh, I've been a fuck around and got us a cease and desist. I ain't scared of no cease and desist, bitch. I'm Tasha K. Uh, I'll just no, talk please, no. <laughs> I'll just no. No, 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 no. No, but we, we like Tasha K. We like everybody. Okay, I'll just joke it. Um, Kenya is right though for turning up on him this time. Normally, I would say that Kenya is always in couples' business. Always in couples' business is what I would normally say. Always but in singular time, business. Just always in everybody' business. But this time, I cannot say she's always in couples' business. You know why? Why? Because Martel should not have came for her by saying, check her message. She probably messaged everybody with his heel, <laughs> Billy, talking ass. Talk like he ain't got no goddamn education. He a Billy Backwoods, of, Alabama, bitch. You know, man, you know what? All of my bloodline, when I go on Ancestry, we are all from Shelby County. My whole family from Shelby uh, County, Alabama. Um, so I'm not I'm not trying to talk shit about Alabama. Child, and I'm not no more urban than anything. any fucking body else. But you uh, know where the fuck I came from with one stoplight in my town. Go right, on right. But I think that, um, I do think that New Yorkers think of Southern people as low educated. You know, because of the way that we pronounce our words, the way that our accent is, mm -hmm. and how, just how we speak with our Ebonics. New Yorkers have an accent, but they talk, I, I could say that they talk, um, what's the word? Their literature or their 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 um, speech. It's elevated. Is, they have is, an elevated yeah, their type speech of speech. Is better. And they use lingo and language that is right. more and their of words an aren't, educated aren't so, um, standard. Um, ebonic. You know what I'm saying? Their words aren't so... Like um, I just said, I'm not no more urban than <laughs> like no more but no urban, more urban, urban than than they oh, don't right. even talk like that up here like like but bitch, don't play with me because i'll read you a full a full 500 page essay in right when in, i got up here from english when i got up here from new york i mean when i got up here when we got up here from atlanta we actually um we actually we actually uh got clown i got clown or both of us i think we that we, of course were boys at the time uh -huh. the tank top and remember, they were like, y'all must not be from up here. When we was in Harlem, uh -huh. and we used to buy the freezies at the man. And he was we like, we wearing damn white beaters. Right. We were wearing tank tops and, and flip-flops and slide-ins and shit. Um, and shorts. I mean, it was hot as fuck up here. We thought it was going to be cold. Bitch. Bitch, it was hot. What These motherfuckers be in booty shorts and Timberland boots and goddamn and, crop tops up yes. here. So and we thought it was going to be like jackets and coats year-round right. when we got up here. We did not know that summer they was going to have freezer stands every damn way. Every goddamn well. We knew why then. It was hot than a motherfucker. I'm talking uh, about. Don't be fooled. New York City gets hot, okay? Especially because that sun will soak into that concrete and your ass will be sitting here cooking. Martel showing his version of the DM means nothing to me. No, no, no. It's two years ago, not six months ago. He could have easily deleted the other part that she told us about. I saw her DM. She had not messed with it. She had not touched it at all. There he is. Hit exit. Where's the message? Oh, he deleted, he deleted it. it. She would have had to have accepted it to have deleted it. Not. Okay. I was like really offended that they were lying like that. First off, you know, and I, again, I just met them. If someone wants me to respect them, they need to respect me too. Because just like they're queens, I'm a king too. Peter is always in the women business. Are you Peter or are you Patricia? Because we need to figure this out. <laughs>